next guest is an actor and Broadway star. You probably know him best as Russ Handyman in the HBO series Silicon Valley. But today he's here to talk about his latest film, Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Please welcome Chris Diamantopoulos! Yeah. You guys look fantastic. Thank you. It really is. Oh, thank, you you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's so great to be here. Thanks for having me. Well, we're so happy, happy to have you. you. We love you. Um, your voiceovers and everything that you're doing. But you are not on social media at all. Because I was looking and I was like, where's Chris? I know. He's and still... listen, she takes a deep dive. <laughs> <laughs> she does. Like the FBI over here. Got it, got it. Why? Right. Why? Well, listen, here's the deal. Yeah. I, uh, the main reason is because I love what I do. I love mm. disappearing into roles. I love being uh, a chameleon. And I feel like if everybody knows what I'm doing and what I look like and where I am, th it takes some of the mystery away. You know I what I mean? I like that. It's true. And, and the, the truth of the matter is, I did sort of dabble in it. I did a, I, when I did the Three Stooges uh, a few years ago, the studio wanted me to get a Facebook page and, and, and Twitter and Instagram. Right. And, and I tried it. And I went into it the same way I go into everything. I, I really wanted to, I wanted to communicate with the fans, I wanted to answer comments, and I found that there was far more negativity than positivity. Yes. And when I started my day that way, it just didn't feel great. You know what I thought? There are people that know how to use that tool well. Mm -hmm. Let them do it. I am, it's, it's not for me. But you're missing out on money, Chris. Oh, you think so? Yeah. You know what, no, it's fine. I, you don't I, have I to put your fine. face. I, you you know, can put up pictures and, I'll, and I'll stuff. I'll tell you what, I'd rather have peace of mind. She said pictures. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You she rather have peace of mind, I think, I think I missed the boat. You know, when, when all this social media stuff was happening, I was busy falling in love. This was like over 20 years ago. Oh, That's when I met my wife. Wow. And I, I didn't need to be social. I was being plenty social I, with her. So I, I, I was, yeah. yeah. I Come like on, that. Very smart. Very cool. Okay, Chris, you started a career doing uh, commercials, right? Yeah. But then you've become a very successful actor and on Broadway. What do you consider as your breakout role? Oh, man, well, great question. You know, I don't think I've had it yet. You know, I've been doing this 35 years. I've never had another job. I've been acting for 35 years. I did That's my first incredible. commercial when I was nine. Nine years old. Wow. Um, this is a huge yeah. success. Yeah. It's, listen, I have been, I think I'm the luckiest guy there is. And, and I've gotten to work on Broadway. I got to do Waitress with Sarah Bareilles. Yes. Brilliant, yes. beautiful wow. Sarah Bareilles. Uh, and, then I, and then I come to Hollywood and I've got this great career in TV and film. And you know, people do recognize me. And a lot of people know me from uh, The Office or Silicon Valley yes. or, or maybe 24 or The Three Stooges. But I feel like, I don't know, I want to have something to look forward to. I feel like maybe my breakout will be when I'm 90. You know, and then I, I just something to build toward. Right. Yeah. 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 To the way you stay booked and busy, you are a star. I'll take okay? sure. Because take... we they don't hire people that don't have talent. So you have talent, and you work with my pals, um, Kevin Hart and Wesley Snipes. Oh yeah, I've heard of them. Yeah. 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 On True Story. So yeah. what was it like working with them? Well, I them? feel like now that they've worked with me, people will know who they are. Right. Right. So right. That's there a good thing. Can I say I honestly? There, there's this saying what people say: "Don't meet your heroes." Well, well, they haven't met right. Kevin Hart and Wesley Snipes. Oh. Working with them honestly was like going to a master class every day, a master class in charisma, talent, and grace. Oh. These guys are movie stars in, in the most positive sense of what that word is. Mm -hmm. They are ambassadors of their set. That's and great. I just sat back and, and was in awe of their professionalism and, and actually their kindness. Because you know, you can reach a certain level and you think that it's not important mm. uh, to, to be to, kind. To, to just be, it's the most basic thing. Mm -hmm. But these guys are champs, and, oh. uh, and it was an absolute pleasure that. working with them. Yeah, it's true. I love hearing that. Lonnie mentioned earlier that you're also known for your voiceovers, which is super I cool. And you're actually on the hit series, Mickey Mouse. Yeah, it's pretty cool, I do. That is say. pretty cool. But even cooler than that is, you are only the fifth to ever voice the iconic Mickey. Ooh. What is that? Like, that's iconic. That's legendary. Well, hot dog girls. <laughs> I mean, can you believe that? I know. I'm so happy it, you did. Listen, it shouldn't come out of this face. And this is what I say. I don't voice Mickey. I just, I lend a hand to keep the that fantastical, oh, incredible Lexi. character that alive. That was magical. That's amazing. But I will say, I, I actually, you know, I, I approach all my roles, whether it's on camera or animation, I usually want to find the voice. If I can find the voice, I can find a way in. Now, if it's an on-camera role, there are other preparations that have to go into it. I did right. uh, this movie recently called Red Notice mm -hmm. that, is, that is the number one Netflix movie 
out there right now. So, wow. yes. I had to transform yes. physically for that. I actually had to really get into tremendous shape. But, but in general, finding the voice for me is a way to find the posture. And when, then when I find the posture of the character, then I can really find a way. Well, in. how did so. you find Mickey? Did you listen to other people? That's a people? good question, actually. Yeah. I actually turned down the audition when it first came up because I thought, this is hallowed ground. I don't want to touch this. I'm, my voice is that. deep and you know resonant. I I, wow. And then I saw a documentary where Walt himself was talking. And he actually had a very similar speaking voice to mine. And the interviewer asked him, would you do Mickey? And he said, well, all right. And I saw him sort of ignite his body. And yeah. I thought, well, I might be able to do that. And so I'm glad I did, because now I've been doing Mickey for a while. That's incredible. incredible. But in history, to be only the fifth, that's pretty, pretty, cool. pretty yeah. My kids love it. Pretty iconic. Of course they do. Yeah. <laughs> of course they do. Chris, you're also voicing Frank, am I saying it Hayfley? Yeah, yeah, you're saying it right. Uh, OK, Greg's uh, overactive dad in Disney's animated Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Yeah. My kids love the book. What's yes. not to love? It's amazing Everyone that did. you get to do that. I mean, guys, listen, Jeff Kinney has created these characters in this world that has beloved the world around. It's been mm -hmm. on the New York Times bestseller list for more than 700 How weeks in a row. Wow. It's bigger than the Harry Potter franchise. So what does it feel like? It feels like you're like a PG rock star. You are a rock star. That yes. is super true. Chris, <laughs> thank you so much for stopping by and thank, hanging out with thank us. Thank you so much for having me. A quick shout out to uh, my lovely family friend, Athena. We love you. I love I that, Athena. She loves your show more than anything. Oh, no way. Biggest fan. Hi, Athena. Biggest fan. That okay. means so much to us, Athena. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Diary of a Wimpy Kid comes out this Friday, December 3rd on Disney Plus. So be sure to check it out. Okay. Can you read that in the Mickey voice? Can you take us out? <laughs> we'll be right back. You're watching The Real.